evening friends. I hope you are having a really great Monday and if you are in my area that you are staying warm. Holy cow, is it cold today? Looking forward to that, jumping back up a little bit for temperature. Uh, let's see, it looks like I'm a little crooked maybe. I'm just gonna adjust a tiny bit. Sorry for the shake. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All right, well, I hope that you had a great weekend and again, staying warm and uh, let's get started. I'm just going to show you one item first and then we'll get started on our project tonight. Um, I hope by now everyone has gotten the January to June 22 mini catalog and your celebration catalog. Those are um, out there and current now and everything in them is available. Um, I will double check and see if there's any back orders yet. Um, every once in a while we do still run into a supply chain issue um, with, with uh, items coming from overseas or something like that. So. I will double check and make sure that nothing is um, unorderable at this point. Um, but I wanted to point out that if you go way to the back here, it talks about sharing, um, share the fun or the rewards. So there are these two stamp sets here that are only available to the host of a party, um, but that can also just be yourself. All you need is a qualifying, qualifying total order starting at $150 and you earn free reward money to spend in the catalog later. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. Um, so you get different percentages based on what level you reach and you can spend those dollars on these two particular stamp sets or anything else in the catalog. But these are only available with host dollars. So you can't just straight up purchase them. And I honestly, I usually miss these guys. They're in the back of the catalog. They get buried. I don't often think about them too much, but these little mice, oh my gosh, have totally caught my eye and I am in love with them. Look how cute that is. Um, so if you uh, saw my Facebook page recently, I posted a picture of a swap I was preparing and it had a whole bunch of yellow pieces and um, maybe some mice punched out and stuff and I wanted to show you the end result. Here is my mischievous mouse card. What I did is I took uh, several sizes of my laying cir layering circle dies and I ran them through with just some daffodil um, cardstock and so it's supposed to look like the holes of, um, the holes of cheese holes in cheese, whatever that would be. <laughs> um, and then I did my mouse here from behind and popped in a little phrase. And I like, I said, these mice, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Um, so if you want to get those all um, as well, or the other stamp set that's like that, um, you can um, think about doing a group order. Um, you don't have to actually host a party if that's not your thing, that's totally cool. But if you gather enough people together, they can come up with $150 um, minimum order, then you get the benefits. So just something to think about um, as we're heading through these next couple of months where there's lots of fun things to earn. All right, so let's get started. Tonight, you're gonna want a card base that is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Every once in a while, I like to change up the direction of the card. I know I tend to make a lot of them that are folded the other way, but every once in a while, it's, it feels like a tall card isn't necessary, so to speak. <laughs> All right, then you need another piece of cardstock that's one by four. My, so my base is cinnamon cider tonight, and this is evening evergreen. You want a neutral piece of cardstock that's a one half inch by four inches, and that we're gonna put a phrase on. So it doesn't have to be quite as long as this. We'll, we can trim this down as needed, um, but I wanted to just start with something that was the entire width of the card base like this, um, and then we can trim it down from there. So it just needs to be skinny enough to fit on that half inch piece. And then I asked you to select four pieces of designer series paper that coordinate together. And I realized as I was laying everything out that I prepared and looked at all of my samples, I cut mine an inch short. <laughs> so my cards are gonna look just a tiny different than yours because um, I prepared them with strips of paper that were only three inches long instead of one by four. Not sure how I blanked out on that one, but every once in a while that's the way the brain works I guess so um, so yours will look as it'll look just a little different than mine you'll have a little bit more paper to fit at the bottom and that's never a bad thing and then you need a focal point that's approximately one and a half by one and a half so this could be a stamped image a die cut image um, anything um, like that I chose to just do a little um, potted plant here everything I'm using here is from the bloom where you're planted suite that's on pages 80 and 81 in the annual catalog. Um, so I have um, the, some of the designer series paper. I used the stamp set to make my potted plant. Um, and then I'll show you another element from that later when I show you the stepped up version. Um, so again, mine are um, Bloom Where You're Planted and that's um, on page 80 and 81 in the annual catalog. All right, so let's get going. Set aside your focal point because you won't need that quite yet. 
Now you're going to want to look at your four strips of paper and decide what order you want to lay them out in. They're going to sit just right next to each other, like so. So play around with how you want them to look as far as what looks best with the color going across or the pattern going across. If you have something that is maybe, um, you know, a couple different shades of, like let's say you put two colors in different shades, all maybe alternating so that you get a flow across. Now I'm going to show you where we're going with this so you can decide how you want to lay these out. These guys are going to become the base of the card as if we had a layer that was four inches across. So we're going to leave just a little border at the bottom and the sides and they're all going to stack next to each other like so. Okay. So I try to get a feel for where they're going to head the, at least the first or the outer two for sure. And then I can place my inside ones to match. Keep an eye on the bottom edge. Make sure those are all lining up nice and even the top edges. We will cover just a little bit. So you don't have to quite worry as much about that one. All right, so let's go ahead and get those pieces of paper on there. And again, mine all came from um, the Bloom Where You Planted Suites. There's really pretty shades of greens uh, in there. I think there's succulent and evening evergreen. Um, and then there's the, um, the cinnamon cider, which I think is a, just a lovely color. And I'm so disappointed it's gonna be leaving because it's one of our in colors that'll be retiring at the end of this catalog season. All right, so remember, keep those bottom edges lining up really nicely. And I just worked left to right on my piece, or yeah, right to left, sorry. Um, and you can do that however you like. If you wanna start in the middle, work out. Like I said, you basically just wanna end up with a even border around, and we'll see how, we did, how well I did. Cause I might've moved it over just a tiny bit, but you will get the idea. All right, so all my bottom edges are lined up nice and straight. Yep, I could have moved it over a little bit this way, but we're just going to pretend that that uh, looks nice and even. <laughs> okay, then take that piece that's one by four and run some adhesive on the back of that. And like I said, just in case these are a little bit um, uneven or not didn't end up quite the same length, don't worry. You're going to cover up just a tiny bit so that it'll all look straight. Now remember, I cut these a little short, so yours are going to be a little bit higher because your strip is gonna go like right about here. It's gonna be, hi Jesse, good to see you tonight. Um, it's gonna be almost near the top, okay? Um, not sure how I, like I said, brain stopped working when I was cutting all those pieces, I guess. <laughs> um, so there you go. Like I said, yours is gonna be a little bit closer to the top. You should have much less cardstock showing uh, on yours like that. All right, so keep your focal point handy. Let's go ahead and stamp our phrase. All the stamp, or the phrases on my samples tonight are from this stamp set called Through It Together. It is in the annual catalog on page 72. It has a lot of nice little phrases, um, little, uh, covering a lot of different, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Different occasions, I guess. So you've got to get well, warm wishes, much love, miss you, thank you. And I like some of these other ones, you know, don't let worry spoil your happy. So you've got some little encouragement stuff. You're capable of great things. Again, really great um, encouragement type words. So I'm going to stamp mine tonight in Evening Evergreen. And I chose to use the uh, With Much Love. All right, and again, pardon if my head gets in the way. So I'm gonna stamp, you can decide how you wanna do this. Let me just give you a, a hint here. We're gonna do this piece about like so. You can have it a little higher, a little lower, doesn't matter. And again, we can cut this down as needed. Um, so what you need to decide now is if do you want your phrase to be more to the left or to the right, and the opposite will be your focal point. Okay, I'm gonna keep my focal point over here because I already have some pot images over here and I kinda of wanna balance those out. So my particular piece is gonna go, or my phrase I should say, it's gonna go more to the left. So there's my with much love. And you can decide at this point too if you wanna keep this um, flat, straight, um, that sort of thing, or if you want to do some cutting on it. So we can do a couple different kinds of cuts. We can make angles, we can make um, the banner shape, um, so again, I'll show you how I like to do that. You take a little snip in the middle and then you go in from each of the sides and it makes it pretty even. So make sure I got all the way to the middle. There we go. All right. And then you get a pretty nice even banner cut when you do it that way. All right. So I think I'm going to have mine not quite reach the edge. So I'm also going to trim off a little bit over here and then I will tape it down. You could also decide at this point if you want to do, um, if you want your focal point to be flat to the card or popped up. We can use dimensionals at this point to give it a little lift. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do with my potted plant. 
and I've got my mini ones over, so I'm going to use four. I'm going to put one in each corner. All right, and always the fun part, taking off those backings. All right, come on, there we go. All right, and now there is my focal point, like so. All right, and again, remember, mine were cut a little short, so you're going to have a little less room at the top, so balance out your um, your image and your phrases and set uh, etc <laughs> accordingly. All right, now while you're finishing up yours, I will show you some alternative uh, layouts that with that. Um, I did actually the exact same layout all the way through. I just changed up um, different patterns of designer series papers. So this particular one is from the Pansy Petals designer series paper, and it's mostly the ones on the flip sides. And then I grabbed the color family one. So this is soft succulent and this is evening evergreen because those are the colors that are in those two particular pieces. Well, thanks, Kathy. I think so too. And I grabbed my sprig punch and some ribbon and I made my focal point like that. And again, you can see I did a little different layout cut for that there um, so that it's, um, it just gives it, like I said, kind of gives it a little different focus on it or a little bit of interest. Um, this one again also is Pansy Puddles designer series paper. But holy cow, what a difference, right? <laughs> um, whole new set of colors. You've got coral and bumblebee and mint and fresh freesia. Whole bunch of fun colors along with those leafy greens. Um, this is the Pier from the Pierce Blooms dyes, and you can find those on 165. And you'll see this time I didn't change up anything about that piece that went across the middle. So that's what it looks like if you wouldn't um, do add any particular shaping to the end of any of that. All right, and for the last one of the alternate samples, here is, oops, I'll push these up a little bit. There we go. This is using um, Abstract Beauty, which is in the new mini catalog. Um, you can find that on page 49 of the January to June 22. Um, I also used the Medium Daisy Punch, added a little Blushing Bride to the middle of that. And then for my piece across here, I actually used Gold Foil because the op so opposite sides of these pattern papers that come in this set have a little flash of gold foil. So I wanted to make sure that I, um, incorporated that and give that a little pop as well. And you'll see this time I switched it up so that my image is over here and my phrase goes that way. So like I said, you can kind of play with that a little bit, work that around to different things. Um, and I think just by looking at it too, if you wanted to think about changing the layout this way, that would still definitely work. Obviously you would change the way your phrasing would go. I would make a little banner going off to the side this way or something like that. But this um, idea of some strips of color and that sort of thing would definitely work both both directions for this. So you can feel free to play around with that. All right, so let me go back to my original project I did on camera for you tonight, and then I'll bring in my stepped up version. So there's not a whole lot of difference here, except that um, I did, I stepped up this part right here. You can see I stamped and die cut my potted plant area, and then I added a background um, piece from the um, Hippo and Friends dies. Those are on page 163. And I also took um, the painted texture embossing folder to that evergreen strip. And I'm not sure if this will show up here, but you'll see it on the photo when it gets posted later. This is actually embossed with a texture so that it kind of pops out a little bit. And I added a gem from the uh, In Color Jewels on page 142. Um, otherwise, that's exactly the same, literally the same paper, same everything, same color scheme. Um, I just said I added just a little bit of more dimension by doing the die cut piece and some extra layering. So, all right, well that is that for tonight. Let me get most of them back in camera anyway. Um, I will have the video, of course, posted for you later. So if you didn't catch this live, you can always watch it again on my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. Um, and I hope to see what you guys are creating. Feel free to um, add a picture of your cards into the comments so that I can see what you guys chose for your papers and your um, focal points and all that fun stuff. All right, if anybody has any questions, add them to the comments under this video. And I will see you guys next Monday. Thanks. Bye-bye.